uh, you and, and John showed great sportsmanship throughout the match and had a really special moment at the at the end. Can you describe your relationship with that? I mean, uh, I have a lot of respect for John. I think he's a great player and uh, he has a great mentality. And uh, yeah, you know, it's always for me a pleasure to play against him. And uh, you know, I think uh, with years and years we become a good friend of the, of the tour. So you know, always uh, when I play him, I think he's a uh, good spirit and uh, we trust each other. Good morning, uh, Gaia. Good, mor good morning. Uh, can you describe? Um, can you describe how difficult the night was with all the rain delays? And uh, and, and, you know, that controversy there in the uh, 10th game. I mean, uh, the fact is tomorrow is worth, I heard, so it's, it was uh, it was a bit uh, tough in the head because, uh, like they say, we need to stay long, maybe, maybe longer to the, through the night to finish uh, up today, so to go, come back, then, uh, you know, sometimes it, it's good, but at this stage, for me, it was uh, it was not bad because I had the feel of uh, his game and I had the feel of of his serve, and uh, then uh, you know I could uh, express myself with my coach and uh, release all the frustration I had because uh, it's like I said yesterday, it's like very frustrated when you play John because uh, you receive uh, so many aces or three points. So then uh, then the weather is the weather, you know. It's, it was a bit like Wimbledon, so actually we get a bit used to. Mentally, with, with, with the interruptions and the delays, how do you stay mentally focused on playing, you know, with all the delays? To be honest, I don't know if I'm like really focused, you know, I'm just like, uh, when I'm going back to, to the locker room, I just have uh, maybe a 10 minutes conversation with my coach, and then uh, I'm like dancing and talking, and uh, actually we were both watching the a shark uh, documentary, you know, and we just like, <laughs> we just like, you know, chill out. How does it feel to be in your first ATP final in the U.S. and first ATP final this year? What does that mean to you? Good. I mean, very good. I feel good and happy because uh, it's not finished, but uh, almost a uh, great achievement. You know, I had, uh, had a tough moment uh, this year. Uh, I passed a uh, injury a long time and uh, I had a new coach, so you know, all the, the small uh, new thing in the life, yeah, all the stuff, and now uh, to come up strong again, I uh, feel good. There were a couple times, many times tonight, when you could see in your facial reaction <coughs> that you recognized the shot that Isner was about to hit almost before he did. How much confidence does it give you to know that you have that big of an advantage in your reaction time? Like, uh, I don't, I don't really know, but like I, like I can tell you, is like uh, I know if I diet, if I put the ball in, you know, I, I, I feel very good. I feel like comfortable to move fast, and uh, I know with this condition for John to to move me or to to make some winner will be tough, and uh, for sure, you know when. He, Goes to the net. I just put the ball in, and you know it's like I say, it's gifted. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but it's gifted. Uh, what are your thoughts on the final tomorrow, and how are you going to prepare? I mean, uh, tomorrow will be a, a tough match because I think Fredek can come back strong, and uh, I had a tough match against him two weeks ago in Hamburg. So I know he's playing good, and he uh, have a, a type of game to regressive. So. I think uh, I need to I need to be ready tomorrow and play strong uh, till the start because uh, it won't be easy. And then, uh, no tonight I will uh, do like usual, come back, eat, stretch a bit. I think I will be uh, in my bed around four o'clock. And then uh, you know, it's enough. I mean, I will wake up like uh, I don't know, you know, I'm like a machine. So you no, know, when it's final, you. You just forget like uh, the bad thing. You just think it's the final, and you give everything. Generally, Isner likes his chances in a tie break based upon his big serve. How did you approach the tie break, <laughs> knowing that generally he has a pretty good record in tie breaks? To be honest, I was uh, very frustrated because uh, I think I was uh, up twice, love serve and serve, and a couple games before, and uh, I didn't make it, and. This was tough, and uh, I have two match points as well, and 
maybe one is funny what I will tell you, but one uh, was a passion shot and I made cross court, but uh, I promised in my head, I was like, fuck, I need to play down the line. <laughs> <laughs> and it come like cross, and I was like, maybe I missed it. And then in the breaker, I, I knew is uh, the fraction I dropped one point with myself. It would be like a, a tough one, and uh, I just tried to focus on, on my serve, like, where every, every serve maybe not too strong, but very accurate. And uh, I think uh, I make it, but uh, with, uh, with luck. On that ten, in the 10th game there, when the machine didn't work, were you, were you pretty sure that the... Uh, that, that oh, worked? I mean, like the one that totally missed, you know. I think uh, you won't see the ball out and uh, the ball is in, you know. It's, and uh, I think it's something emotional, so it could be in, you know. Yes, it's, it's very... Frustrated because uh, the machine match point cost them. I mean, I never had, uh, had this before, but uh, I think it's part of the game. It's, uh, it was in, so it was in. Any last question? Uh, you won the first set and seemed pretty much um, in control, and then you lost your serve early on. Do you always essentially expect a three setter against Sean, or what happened there? Uh, not really. I mean, uh, I think uh, he played one, I mean, two solid points uh, when he broke me, and then uh, I think I played two fancy shots, like uh, could be maybe more aggressive on, or maybe take care more about my business. I think uh, like the last point when he broke me, the, the drop shot, I could have hit a normal one and uh, make him play because I think from the baseline. Uh, Maybe a bit stronger than him, so I think uh, I didn't play with my uh, with my uh, with my weapon. And uh, then after, you know, when you drop the serve against John, uh, you know, it's reset. And basically, uh, it's, it's reset. So then uh, I dropped uh, my serve, and then I was like, okay, try to have some opportunity, but uh, I, I was already focused for the solo. English press will be first, then we'll have five press coming.